The only trouble you stuck out the side, and here they come. <laughs> Start of the second term here at St Albans. 3 3 21, Bannockburn East along 2 5 17. Adam Scrobelak in the ruck up against Dickers for Bannockburn. They go up and Dickers gets it down off half four Giles. He left the footy behind though. And he ran straight into Ryan Coy. Rob Chamberlain didn't know. He picked it up, got it out towards O'Hara. Watts against him as well. Bat running back towards half back. Good play by Watts. Hassled him out of it and kept his feet. Brad Watts needs some support though. Gets the, gets the kick around the corner towards Ross Dillon in front. Primke. That's going to be a great battle this afternoon. Primke kept his feet as well. A little toe poke. And it is out of bounds for a throw in. About 60 around from the Bannockburn goal. Kicking to the southern end in the second term. Scrobelak and Dickers come down to do the ruck work. Scrobelak from behind. Big left fist to the side of the pack. Little toe poke was okay as well in the end. Shuffle the handball out. Dickers running through the middle. The freak, Dwayne Broom. Got it away. Hammond, handball to nobody in particular. Over the top of it, Ricky O'Toole under pressure. Umpire will come in. So ball up. Scrobelak. Dickers. Dickers got it down to the side. Pat Dillon, who's recovered. After that knock in the first quarter, falls to Lachlan from the ruck contest. Handball, great no look from Primke. Got it away to Pat Howey. Two bounces, runs through half back. Could have taken another one. He will. Takes number three. Keeps going. Now he just drills it towards half forward over the head of Hill, though. Hickle and read it better. And he takes the mark. He chips the ball back into board to, to Broom. Drops a, an absolute soda. Should have taken that. The handball and the turnover. Came from Josh Coy to Rob Chamberlain. Off a step. Sean O'Leary from behind. In front. Did well. Greg stood his ground. Backed himself and took the mark. He chips the ball to Chris Reek, who can run away at half back. Got a bit of time. Gets a sh half a shepherd as well. Goes out wide. It's okay. Fatula takes the mark on centre wing for Bannockburn. He chips the ball along the line. Ross Dillon goes up. Can't take the mark. Off hands. Uh, East Geelong have the numbers. Robertson needs to get around the tackle. He did. Got it away to Coy Ryan. Gives it back to Primke. Over the top towards Ryan Coy again. Close to the boundary line. He shuffles it back over the top again. They're mucking around with it a bit. But Primke breaks free and runs through the middle of the pack. He goes now. He runs his full distance. Right foot kick back towards half forward. Sponner over the top. Great mark. Alistair Woods. And Alistair Woods will chip the ball out wide. It's okay. Fatula takes the mark. In fact... Yes, it is. It's Fatula. Chips the ball back in board to Dickers. Takes the mark. Still inside the centre square. Chips the ball. Oh, dangerous though. Chamberlain did well across the back from Hickledon. Hill now with a turnover. Chips the ball to, to uh, Sean O'Leary on the lead. Grigg couldn't do anything about that. And Sean O'Leary will shoot for goal from 45 metres out. Slight angle. So the turnover there from Dickers might be costly. Mm. Oh, it's exactly right, Chase. Got to hit the targets and uh, Tame... Dangerous stuff coming back inside, isn't it? It is like that. Sean O'Leary now for goal number two for him. And the lead for East Geelong, never a doubt. Straight through the middle for Sean O'Leary, his second. And the Eagles go to 3 5 23. Uh, room at, uh, at St Albans here. So the ball back in the middle of the ground. Scrub Lake up, does the track work, goes down to Jennings, tries to get through the contest, tackled by Broom. And the umpire is going to come in and take possession. Up. Scrub Lake to do some ruck work again. Over the top. Ball comes down. Hamble missed its target. The interference there from Robertson and the free kick's going to go that way. I think she pointed the wrong way then, but it's actually going to Bennington. See, I thought it was going the other way, didn't it? Never right. mind. She's made the decision out there. So Fatula has the ball from the centre of the ground. Goes out wide looking towards Watts. Gets over the top of his head. Needs to do some work on the ground. Primke gets to the ball, but Watts puts his head over it. Dark's probably put himself in that position. I don't know if that was a free kick, so he already <laughs> had his head down there. Had no choice there. Uh, Sponner to other than to tackle him. So Matty Watts is a nice kick of the ball. He can nearly <laughs> dob it from here if he actually loaded up. And there's one of those short kicks again. Goes looking for Wishart. Don't know why he continues to do it. Put it in deep. Handball from Jennings is good. Finds Howie. Howie goes back towards Coy. Coy back to the running Howie and he's been good for him. Back to Coy and this is uh, Brad... Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Ryan Coy. Picked up by Dickers. He's taken off the ball by Coy and that was Brad. That was better that time. Handball to himself. Got through the contest. Over the top. Finds O'Toole. So O'Toole going backwards further. Has a running player in Nyko on the half back line. Looking further afield for players to kick to. Oh. No one there. Goes out wide. Went back to O'Hara. Over the top. Back to O'Hara. Tackled by Hammond. Releases the ball. Finds Lachlan. He's under pressure. Foes inside to player there in Robertson. Back to O'Hara. And now he's out and running. So Dean O'Hara takes those big loping strides. Third bounce. Kicks the ball in towards the half forward line. Cluster up and down before acceptances. At ground level there's a free kick being given. And it's going to go against Ryan Kloster. And the recipient's going to be Jamie Van Ingen. So he chips the ball back inside. Two-on-one contest. Not a good-looking kick. And Jennings does well. Takes a nice mark. Went to look to feed the ball out. Decides to stop and go back. Settle himself. And now Jennings from just forward of centre wing. Has players moving. Goes out wide. The player running back is Robinson. He takes the mark. What's standing his mark. 
So Robinson now looking for the options further afield. That's a good lead oh. from Kloster and a good mark from Kloster in front of Jamie Van Ingen. So Ryan Kloster will go back and shoot for goal just inside 50, probably about 40 metres out. So comes in. Crosses over 50 now. Kicks from 45. Nice looking kick off the boot. Has it got the distance? Yes, it has. It's got the accuracy. It's got the lot. So that's his first goal of the afternoon. And it moves East along now. To Injury. Problems there. Scrubble Act Dickers gets it down. Side of the pack. Ricky O'Toole. Bannock Boom with the numbers so they can break free. Peter's back on the ground. He needs to pick it up though. Scrubble Act over the top of it. Ripped off the footy. And should get a free kick for the hole, which was there for about three minutes. The ump in the middle. Big left foot kick towards half forward. Lead by Hill. Goes in that direction. Hickleton against him. Off hand. Sponner. Getting back there. Matt Watts and also Alistair Woods. They've got the numbers. Woods picks it up. Goes towards the boundary line. Handball back in board to Hickleton. He kicks it across the ground. He oh. hits Matt Watts in the face with the kick. It turns it over and Josh Coy makes him pay. He kicks the goal. Now third turnover in five minutes. And Josh Coy kicks his first. He's Meet your target. So the ball back in the middle of the ground now. Dickers up against Scrobelak. Dickers over the top, knocks it forward. Running on the ball, Chamberlain can't take clean possession. Hammond's there, tries to kick it off the ground, does so. Gains a little bit of ground, heading toward the boundary line. Scooped it back between his legs. And the ball has now gone over the ball. He uh, pushes himself forward. So the umpire throws the ball back into play. Jennings out the back, over the top for Tula. Third man up. Something that Bellpost will do well and do it regularly. Handball there for Fatula. There's a free kick given against Fatula there for a high fend. Coming in to take the ball. And Drew Lachlan, recipient, chips the ball back inside. Dangerous uh, kick. Oh, good hands from Jennings that time. Long hands goes back to Coy. And through East Geelong, Brad Coy kicks the ball out wide. Looks for Mark better. And he takes the mark outside 50. So playing a lot better now that uh, Bennington have got their extra man on. I don't know how that works, but it often does. Veda now kicks around the boundary line, goes looking for Kloster. They're behind O'Hara. Good jump, couldn't take the mark. Kloster at ground level, picks the ball up, steps back inside. Has plenty of time to steady himself. Goes and steadies on the right foot, kicks in towards Hill. The ball had one, two hands on it, but couldn't take the third. Handball's back to Jennings. Jennings now, handball's back inside to Kloster. He's off and running, handball over the top. O'Hara on his right side, has to stop prop, go back inside now. Looks to use his right foot. Kicks the ball oh. to the front of the square or 20, 40 metres out from goal. And Lockie Sponner in space by himself has taken the mark. Sponner needs to kick this. Missed two easy ones before. Exactly right. And this is one that probably no difficult any more than the last two. That looks a better kick off the boot. That's a lovely kick off the boot. And that's his first goal of the afternoon now. And the sixth goal to East Geelong. So 6 5 41. Bannock the tackles. Pressure yeah. from yep. Bank at the moment. Back to the middle. Scrubble Akin Dickers. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Dickers gets it down. Wishart roves it. Gets a clearing kick towards centre. Ford Howie backs himself. Gets around two. Breaks a tackle. Handball inboard to Ricky O'Toole. Back towards Scrobelak. The big man goes with a kick, spearing to Hill in the middle, takes the mark at centre half forward. Goes on now, long kick towards O'Leary, used the body beautifully, and at the back goes with a left foot kick and oh, has missed. Oh, Doesn't miss too many of them. So two goals, one Sean O'Leary. They had a 6 6 42, the Eagles. Bannock Burn 3 3 21, Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter scoreboard. So the short kick comes out from the full back position. Watts went to Grigg. Grigg now loads up, goes long outside 50, goes looking forward, went to find Peters, and O'Hara making some good. And the ball thrown back into play now. Ruck work to be done. Hap, uh, over there, Dickers gets it down towards Hickleton, kicks the ball further afield, and a good mark taken by Primke <laughs> in front of Dylan. So. Primke now gets to his feet, plays on quickly, goes oh. out wide. Hill oh. doesn't take the mark, but has time to steady and go back and collect it. Fed the ball back to O'Toole, fends off, goes back further. This time Robinson's there, goes back, handballs over the top, went looking for O'Toole, had too much carry on the ball, and the ball again is over the boundary line to be thrown back into the field of play. So Dickers, this time doing the ruck work against Hill. Hill does well, taps it down. Picked up there by Perkins, though, and that's Lee Perkins. Kicks the ball further afield. Goes looking towards Dean Perkins. And again, the boundary line is uh, going to be the winner. This time they've moved it from one end of the square to the other. So 50 metre mark and further. Ball thrown back into play. Dickers from behind. Scrobble there. Comes down. Lee Perkins tries to pluck it out of the contest again. Picked up there. We think it was Sheedy. Can't take clean hands. It's a good handball out towards Watts. Goes forward. Looking for Dylan. And a good mark is taken inside 50. So just looking for Fatua to lead. Kick comes back inside. Woods is pushed down from defence. And he has taken the mark. About 10 metres in from the 50. Oh, he's going to kick from 45. And Alistair Woods, usually a good kick for goal. Probably a bit the same, mate. On the run, you'd probably say he's 100% from here. Stationary. 
about 85. So Alistair Wood loads up, goes towards goal. Nice looking kick off the boot. And he has got a much needed goal for Bannockburn. Their first in the quarter, which will see them move. To back to the middle. Scrobelak gets it down. O'Hara off the wing. Runs back into trouble, but gets free. Hample, oh, geez. Let it set a task for Coy, but he was good enough to get it back to O'Hara. Runs forward from centre half forward. Right foot kick long. Hill running back with a fly to the foot. He put a hand up. Couldn't take the mark. His second effort was pretty good. He tried to get it away towards Josh Coy. Now Hickled it over the top of it as well. It's in the goal square. Five metres out from the goal. And, well, ball spills free somehow to Josh, to Josh Coy. He's kicked, though, only as far as Hickled it. And he might be happy to see it through for a rush behind. He is to the Eagles. So they go to 6-7-43. They lead Bannockburn 4-3-27. Buckley's Entertainment Centre second quarter scoreboard. His kick in is good. Finds Lee Perkins. Handballs it away to Woods. Runs through centre half back. Chips the ball towards Nicholson. Nobody on him. And he can chip it over the top as well to Dean Perkins. He goes further afield to Ross Dillon. Dean Perkins could be next in line. He chips the ball over the top. He just sets it up. He has to wait a little bit but at 50 takes the mark in front of Lachlan. Now, two on two at the forward line. He just chips the ball over the top to Alistair Woods, who kept running and did nicely. And another shot for goal, this time a bit further. Burns fifth. He'll come in. Right foot kick. Pretty good off the boot. Pretty happy with that. So Alistair Woods puts his second on the board. Bannock Burn got a fair bandage on too, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Once you cross the line, Jace. That's it. So the ball from the middle. Bolton got it down towards Sean O'Leary having a run on the ball. Across half forward. Kloster got his head ripped off. Should have got a free kick. The umpire was standing right there. Didn't give one. Got it away by hand to O'Hara. Right foot kick off a step to nobody in particular. The only man there, Sam Hickledon. And Happy takes the mark. And he chips the ball to Nicholson running across. And also Matt Watts. Now Matt Watts kicked the footy long. He's got Lincoln Peters. He goes in that direction. And you know what? He's, he's met him, but he can't take the mark, Peters. So I'll throw in. Foot. Up against Bolton, thrown in. Foot gets a big thump to it. Hammond off half forward, goes to centre wing, picks it up. Handball over the top to the big fella. Foot taps it onto Sheedy. Runs now in between wing and half forward. He goes long towards the lead of Eddie who comes out. Vetter against him, taps it on beautifully to Ross Dillon. That's great play. And Roscoe finishes it off the coach. Three and three minutes for Bannockburn. They close the gap. They go to 6 3 30. Back with the umpires in the middle of the ground. Foot doing the whack work up against Bolton. The ball thrown in there by the umpire. Bolton up in there, taps it down nicely to Sean O'Leary. Streaks through the middle, goes in long, goes looking towards Scrobelak out in front. And the big fella doesn't let you down in that situation, takes a nice mark. So Scrobelak just outside 50, range may test him, but he's going to load up, go to the goal square. And why wouldn't you? Long kick in, Hickelin gets back, good spoil, but Hill takes the first mark, grab and second, and right in the middle of the square will go back and kick a, a very quick response for East Geelong. Well, it all started with Bolton with his good tap in the centre. Straight to O'Leary. Sean O'Leary's clearance work through the middle of the ground, not only this game, but in other games, has been excellent. So uh, a great bonus to be able to put a bloke in there like that. And Hill goes back and kicks his first goal of the afternoon. And we'll just to take the pressure off. You're doing? I think that's a good move. Height-wise and agility-wise. Back to the middle, Bolton. Great little tap, but uh, Wishart chops it off. And then he's wrapped up without the footy. Bolton yeah. got it out to Sean O'Leary again. Four to the footy. Goes with the right foot kick again. Long towards full forward. Ricky O'Till held on to. Gets up off, off the pack. Ball spills free towards Scrobelak. But uh, Matt Watts is in there as well, fighting hard for it. The umpire says it ha it's held up and we'll have a ball. So, ruck contest. Hickledon got it down to the side of the pack. Clearing kick came from Grigg. And a good kick for distance too. Broom at centre wing against Brad Coy. They go at it. Brad Coy tries to hassle him out. The umpire says he, she, held, she said he held on to him. So Broom will get it back. Uh, gave the ball away. Now he gets it from centre wing to oh, oh, Bolton over right. the top. No mark taken over the top of Wishart. He's hurt him as well. It's at half forward for Bannockburn. Pack develops. The umpire says over the shoulder. So Bannockburn with a free kick again. This time it's Foot who's got it at half forward. Plays on now. Right foot kick in towards 50, but it's all oh, East Geelong. They, don't, they spill each other, though. Bolton and O'Leary. Woods went left, went right, gave it back towards Perkins. Dean goes with a right foot kick. Eddie at the back. back. Did he push? The umpire said play on. Off hands. Vetter fighting hard for it. Spills free. Still there. There's a hold. And East Geelong will take the free kick. Mark Vetter in the last line of defence. He's got um, Kloster. He hasn't now, though. They've... Uh, Batting burn forwards have worked hard there. So Vetter from the last line of defence goes to the outer side. Looking for Dean O'Hara, fourth in line. He goes up and takes the mark. <laughs> Great mark at half back for the Eagles. Lead on from Primke goes in that direction. Can't take the mark. 
and it might run out of bounds before they can get back there. Primke and side, center wing, Bolton up against foot. Bolton in front gets it down. Brad Watts, O'Hara, hassling him out of it. Watts picked it up, though. His handball back was all right. Shuffled out quickly. Came back from Perkins and gave it back to Wishart. Got back to Perkins. He got legged. Now, short little kick. Right, uh... Ryan Coy behind, taps it away, does well, works hard, under pressure, ball, Stern fighting hard for it, running through the middle, Ross Dillon left it behind though, and Brad Coy got it away to Vetter, terrible handball, Perkins running the other way, can't pick it up, Dillon nearly got it, was that a push in the back, the umpire said play on, falls toward Broom, he tried to play for a free kick, didn't get one, now he's Geelong, through Vetter, gets it out wide to Sean O'Leary, takes the mark at half back, plays on quickly, kick around the corner, under pressure, Primke worked, Matt Watts past the footy, and it sat for him nicely on centre wing, goes the right foot kick towards half forward. Scrobblack at the back, Greg. He was positioned better and he took the mark. He chips the ball lateral across the ground towards Watts at half back. He chips the ball over the top as well towards Fatula. Takes the mark on centre wing in front of Ryan Coy. Got a bit of time to settle things down. He's got Wishart short, Hammond short. He goes further afield looking for Broom, but Sponner gets back there and chops it off. And at half back does nicely. He'll be able to. Set up the Eagles again. He's just going to chip the ball across half back to Robertson. Good player to chip to. Now he can run. One bounce. He can run two bounces through the middle. Keep going. He thought about the 30. He elects to kick it long towards half forward. Good kick for Hill. Hickledon out of position. Hill played on. Got around on his right boot. He handballed. He dropped the footy though. He, and Bannockburn through Hickledon. He chips the ball to Brad Watts at half back. And he just settles play down, Brad Watts. And now he chips it over the top towards the lead of Van Ingen, who has done well on centre wing to get away. Goes with a left foot kick towards the leader, Hammond. He's going to have two against him. And one of them's better. The other one's Nyko. He can handball it back. He did to Sahanik, but Dylan chopped it off. Hammond, so Dylan numbers with East Geelong if they can get it away. Howie wrapped up, not going anywhere. Our process. Ross Dylan chance for the ball back inside. Finds Dickers in space by himself. Dale looking for an option further field. Aaron Eddy's calling for the ball long and getting it in there quickly. It leads towards the pocket. Goes in there. Bolton, two on one. Uh, player there. Vetter did well. Hal Eddy off the ball. Picked up by Howie. Don't know whether he disposed of that too correctly. Eddy go back and tackles him. Lies on top of him. There's no chance Pat Howie's going to get the ball out there. Umpire, good decision. A lot of Blake's down on their haunches. Uh, looking for breath. <laughs> Halfway through the last first, second quarter. Bruck Boak in front, Bolton over the top, finds Broom. He can't get through the contest. Coy's there. Actually, with more than one, there's two of them there. <laughs> Ruck work, Dickers going to be up against Bolton. Bolton does well, taps it back nicely to O'Toole. He's tackled, doesn't have the ball, goes back towards Dickers again. Now Robinson's over it, needs to get it out. Coy comes out with the ball. He's tackled. He's probably trying to do too much there, Ryan Coy. Picked up by Broom. He drops the ball. Good tackle from O'Toole. Picked up by Bolton. Feeds it out with the handball. Trapped by uh, Peters. Now go the ball is Eddie. Handballs back to Hammond. Kicks round the corner. Has it got the carry? Has it got the carry? Yes, it has. I think Hammond has kicked his first goal of the afternoon and it will be Bannockburn seventh. So Bolton and Dickers. Bolton gets it down. Rove though by Fatula. Gets around three or four. He's broken free. Left foot kick long towards Eddie again. And Perkins in the middle takes the mark. And Lee, per tough. Lee Perkins. He's got Peters in the... Oh, oh the goal, He thought about chipping it to Lincoln Peters, who was standing in the goal square, but a couple of Eagles players had uh, picked it up and it could have been danger, but he's decided to go back and kick for goal from 30 metres out directly in front, and he's kicked the goal. So Lee Perkins has put his first on the board, and the Tigers take the lead. 8-3-51. Up against Dickers in the middle of the ground. Ball thrown in the air. Tickers over the top, knocks the ball down. Chamberlain misses the ball. Pan ball from... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say freak then to Wishart goes <laughs> oh! Joey Lachlan up over the top can't pick it up Hammond had a chance left it behind picked up there good strong tackle by Dylan. ball comes out to Lachlan again handball goes over the top goes towards Nyko O'Hara's there he'll go left and right and goes back right steadies himself goes long down the line but only to find Wayne Broom he's taking the mark in front of Primke can go back to Greer if he wants to has uh, two players inside but now just being held up. Some good work defensively there by East Geelong. Ball is chipped short. Goes looking for Fatula. He takes the mark. Well, I thought he was going to duck off then. But a mark has been paid. So Brad Fatula outside 50. Goes in long. Goes towards Aaron Eddy. With the body work and good body work. And there's a push there, says the umpire. Thought it might have been in the side. But the umpire said no. Used the back and the hands. No good. 
Mark Vetter resulting free kick. So Mark Vetter is going to kick the ball out long. Goes in the same direction as the ball came. Out towards Grigg. Out towards Primke. Primke in front. Good pair of hands. Can't take the mark. Over the top of the ball. Bannockburn have a chance. Not too sure there. But Jennings is also there doing some good work. Umpire will come in inside 50, we said. Half forward line. Dickers up. Bowman was there, I think, also. Actually, it wasn't. It was Howie. Picked up by Vatula. Quick kick round the corner. Went inside 50. And a mark taken by Dillon out in front of Sahanik. Has player in Woods leading up to the ball. He's done well. I think he's pushed down from defence. He's probably just outside his range here. But uh, we'll go back and no doubt kick for goal. As I said, about 27, 28 minutes gone this second quarter. Bannockburn with a small lead. Two points as it stands at this time. So Woods from right on 50. Loads up. Goes long. Goes to the goal square. It's touching the goal square. Play on Howie. Over the top. We'll get the running. Jennings coming out. He collects the ball. Steadies himself oh, on the oh. right foot. Just kicked the ball along the boundary line. Didn't find the boundary line and finds Sheedy. Sheedy goes back inside looking for Eddie. Eddie takes the first grab, second grab and the third grab. And a mark has been taken. So Aaron Eddy with the final kick of the first half. Only going to kick from about 35 metres out from goal. And we'll have a good look at the ball from here. So about a 45 degree angle. Don't know how many angles there before that or after it. It's too difficult to call, isn't it, Jase? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so Just Aaron Eddy has three. Could kick goal number four in the first half here. And a good handy goal for Bannockburn. Starts it, comes back, comes back, but not quick enough. And through for a minor score. So eight goals for Bannockburn at half time will be 52. They will lead East Geelong on 7-7-49. Goal kickers, Aaron Eddy has three. Alistair Woods, two, both in that quarter. One to Lee Perkins, Ross Dillon and... Uh